Good morning again. As we head into the Thanksgiving holiday, I've been reflecting quite a bit on the things I'm grateful for. However, when I sit with it I break di and break it down, I realize they aren't things at all. They're people and experiences that live in my heart. You might have heard Maya Angelou's quote, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. With Dr. Ada Wallace here on campus a couple of weeks ago, I was reminded of this very idea. I haven't seen Evelyn for decades, and yet it felt like no time had passed between us, even though we had each evolved in our various ways throughout the years. It's our shared memories that have bound us together forever. Sorry if that sounds creepy. The collegiate signing ceremony last night highlighted exactly what I'm talking about. The impact of surrounding yourself with people who make your life better because they let your light shine as you are and you do the same for them. When Evelyn and I met, we were 16, and we, along with 50-ish other students from around the country, had made one of the biggest decisions to live and study abroad in Barcelona, Spain for the year. Expectations were extremely high for me when I decided to do the program, but many of my classmates in high school looked at me cross-eyed when I shared my dream to go. Thankfully, my non-conforming, adventurous older sister was the first person at Nobles to attend SYA, so I easily blocked the opinions of naysayers around me, who were confused that I would choose to miss junior year in high school. To this day, I'm still baffled by those comments because it was the most bold I have been in my life in stepping away from what everyone else was doing to explore literally uncharted territory for myself and live in Europe at 16. When my sister returned from Spain, I remember the glow she carried. She had a newfound confidence, a mastery of Spanish that made me envious, connections with a Spanish host family, and everlasting friendships that can only be created with people experiencing such a unique once-in-a-lifetime moment. It was because of her that I became set on doing the same program when I was old enough. And my love for travel started, though, much earlier when I was five. My father was commissioned by his art gallery to paint landscapes on a remote Greek island for a year. Since I was in kindergarten, I learned to read and speak the language fairly easily. Even though I only have fragments of memories of my time there, I remember how it felt, and it was true freedom and joy. My parents still talk about the ease I had at picking up the language and how they hear me chatting away in Greek with my friends and their parents. When I returned to the States, they even contemplated sending me to a Greek school to keep my language skills up. Ultimately, they didn't, but I've held on to how it felt to be there. I can still read Greek, but honestly, I have no idea what I'm reading or saying. Uh, a quick story was that I was pretty confident about my Greek skills, and um, some of you know that I was a rower. And in college, I was on the crew team, and I had been talking to the boys' team, and there's this beautiful Greek rower. His name was Kostas. And I was like, I'm going to show my skills. So I went over to Kostas, and I was said to him, I have this song that I used to sing as a child, and I would love for you to translate it, because I don't know what it is. And if anyone in here speaks Greek, don't make fun of my accent or my, maybe the grammar is a little off. But this is how the song went. We used to play it when we used to choose who was it when we would play hide and go seek. So I went up to Kostas, and I said, to paputi suvromaria la seto. And I said, what does that mean? And Costas looked at me and he says, your shoe stinks, take it away. Cool. We never spoke again. <laughs> so my point is, language opens doors. Maybe not in that moment, but it opened a world I wouldn't have existed, that I wouldn't have known existed if I hadn't been there. My art history teacher, Senor Vilalta, was a legend in SYA, and he taught me so much about symbolism and the power of art, but the one gem of wisdom that I've held on to over the years is that the more languages you know, the more doors will be opened. These gateways deliver worlds, experiences, friendships, and memories. If you speak to anyone who has studied abroad, they'll say the same. That all said, I also remember the deep sense of homesickness I felt while in Spain, and it wasn't always rainbows and butterflies. I cried myself to sleep for weeks after I arrived. 
for the first three months. I even had a calendar and I routinely crossed off days counting down when I would return home. Eventually, I was ready to give into the experience fully and then something clicked. This experience wouldn't last forever and if I let my homesickness overwhelm me, then I would be missing out on what was in front of me. It was then that I truly gave into the experience and I started dreaming in Spanish and recognized the gift I had been given that would rival no other in my life. When I think about our community, I'd like to point out that there are so many of you here right now in this exact position, studying abroad. In the day-to-day -day life here, it's easy for us to forget that. We're all set on fitting in and blending in, that we don't consistently see the wealth of perspective and representation that we have here at Brooks, the gateways to worlds. These members of our community have left their families, friends, cultures, home, a sense of familiarity to be here at Brooks. So to our international faculty and to our international students, we see you. It's not always easy, but you are doing something unique and life-altering that I promise you won't regret. To those of you traveling on exchange this year, I can't wait to hear about your adventures. To our Hungarian exchange students who've been here since the start of school, you've enriched our lives by studying and living with us this fall, and we hope you take a bit of Brooks back with you to home. When I think about who I am and why I am this way, it comes back to moments when I wasn't always comfortable when I took a chance and moved through the challenges and the fears. It's easy to fall into our day-to-day -day bubble and only see what is directly in front of us. But I encourage all of us, including myself, to be global citizens and be curious to learn more about each other and other places. Thanksgiving is upon us and many of us will be traveling near and far. And I hope wherever you land, you listen to others and extend a hand to a new friendship. All of us in this room have so much to be grateful for, and there's so much you give to me to fill my heart with love and light. Thank you for that, and enjoy these last couple of days before break, because we are so close. Thank you.